I found 11 easy side hustles that could actually make you rich in 2024. And I'm not just gonna tell you the side hustles, I'm also gonna give you examples of people who are able to get rich doing these. So this is gonna give you some really good ideas, whether you just wanna make a little bit of money on the side or whether you want to eventually develop it into a full-time business. And if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's get into it with number one on the list, which is going to be selling dirt. No, not the famous Alice in Chains album, actually, Actual dirt. Sorry, sorry, what? That's right, you're gonna be selling the very ground that people walk on. And it's a dirty business, literally. And if you don't believe me that you can get rich from this, look at this story of a guy who did. He was basically a guy from Ireland who moved to the United States, and he noticed at Irish funerals that many Irish people wanted to have Irish dirt sprinkled on their coffin. So he noticed a gap in the market, and he was able to supply people with Irish dirt to sprinkle on their coffins at their funerals or wakes. But that's not the only type of dirt-related business that you can make money from. In many cases, you can make money by moving dirt. So for instance, you can make about $150 to $600 on average for 10 to 15 cubic yards delivered. Look what I got. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And you can make about the same amount of money if you deliver sand. And garden centers will typically sell 40 pound bags of topsoil. And these, of course, are going to be used by gardeners to plant things like vegetables. So yeah, as you can see, there is opportunity all around you, even the ground beneath your feet. Now, is this the best opportunity on the entire list? No, but I'm going to go ahead and give it an opportunity score of seven out of 10. What's up guys. So we're going to be having a live training where I'm going to be teaching you how to grow and make money from your YouTube channel. Okay. So this is going to be stuff that I've never taught before. It's probably the only time I'm ever going to teach it. So definitely you want to show up for it. And it's going to be at Tuesday, 8 PM Eastern standard time. Okay, so the link to it will be down in the description or swipe up or whatever, it'll, it'll say it on the screen, but definitely check it out. You don't wanna miss out on this. Next is going to be something that I've done myself, which is flea market flipping. And this is basically the art of buying undervalued items and then selling them for a profit. And in this particular case, you'd be doing it at a flea market. Did I say 700 francs? You can have it for 200. So flea markets are usually open on the weekends. And basically these are places where anyone can go to buy or sell their wares. And there's a really Really cool article on Side Hustle Nation about a guy who turned his little side gig doing flea market flipping into a full-time six-figure operation. Now, there's so many different ways that you could make money doing this. You could figure out what types of things sell really well at flea markets, buy them online in bulk, and then go to the flea market and sell them yourself. Or you could go to the flea market and start looking for deals. Both of these only require you to have a knowledge of what things are buying and selling for in the market. And a lot of the times people will sell these in places like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or eBay. And this is something that I used to do with products like eyeglass cleaner or credit card knives. And there were times where I made over a thousand dollars in a single day doing this. A thousand? So yeah, this can be a really good opportunity. The only thing you have to know is kind of the market value of different things, what people are willing to buy and sell things for. Oh my gosh, why are you selling our toilet paper? We need this. So one thing that people do this really commonly with, for instance, is shoes. If you're a sneakerhead and you're really into buying and selling shoes, you probably have a pretty good idea of what different types of shoes buy and sell for. And so that would be a good thing for you to get into. So overall, this is one of the oldest side hustles known to man. I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Next is going to be creating online courses. Now this one is insanely profitable if you do it the correct way. And the reason it's so profitable is because it's incredibly scalable. You basically just create the course one time and you don't have to do anything after that. And there's a girl on TikTok who made over a hundred thousand dollars in a single day selling online courses that teach people how to use Excel. So just as an example of this, let's say that you get a thousand people to go to your sales page for a course like an Excel course, right? Then 2% of those 1000 people buy your $100 course. That means that you would make $2,000 in sales and there's basically zero overhead costs. So this is actually one of the most scalable and sought after business models out there. And this is the closest thing that you're going to get to actual passive income on the internet. Now, of course, you can create your own course and host it on your website. You can also host courses on websites like Kartra or Teachable or Kajabi. And then there are actually 
websites that will do the marketing for you. So these are websites like Skillshare and Udemy. So it's easier than ever before to make money from online courses. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be TikTok affiliate marketing. And this is the art of promoting products that other people own and getting a small percentage of the sales, AKA you're an affiliate, on TikTok. So one example that pops into my head was a very controversial figure named Andrew Tate. And he created an affiliate product where other people would promote it all over the internet. And this was a pretty reasonably priced product. I think it was like $50 or something like that. And the affiliates would get 50% of the sale. And there were people that were making like $50,000 a month promoting these products. And there's an example of a 24 year old that works about two hours a day and makes over $8,000 a month. And she basically got laid off from her waitress job. And then she kind of started entrepreneurship, but she started off as a fitness coach, but she wasn't making enough money from it. And she was also working ridiculous hours. So she started creating content on TikTok and started affiliate marketing, and she was able to find immediate success. So yeah, this is another one, tons of opportunity. And of course I'm biased. I'm a content creator, but I really think that this is probably the type of thing where just about anybody could do it. Do. Or do not. You basically just have to talk about things that you're passionate about, right? Things that you're already really good at or things that you really enjoy. And then you just mention in the video, hey, by the way, there's an affiliate link down in the description below if you're interested in it. Which there is, by the way, for a free digital marketing masterclass, which my friend Seth has used to help hundreds and hundreds of people get jobs. You can check that out. It's down in the description as well as the pinned comment below if you'd like to. But yeah, this is an incredibly easy way to make money. I'm not gonna lie to you. I know lots of different business owners out there. I know lots of different different business models. I know which business owners are insanely stressed and I know which business owners are actually, you know, doing the whole passive income thing or at least semi-passive. And I'm telling you right now, the people who create content and they do affiliate marketing are some of the least stressed out business owners. And I've also noticed just generally speaking, not to talk bad about my own people, but there's content creators out there that aren't that smart that are making a ton of money. Whereas I don't see that many people out there starting like SaaS companies, like software companies that aren't that smart and they're also making a lot of money, right? So this is one of those types of entrepreneurship that is literally like super easy to get into compared to a lot of the other ones anyways. And that's why people like me are able to make six figures a month doing this. And by the way, I teach other people exactly how to do this with my coaching, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. I'm very selective about who I accept when it comes to my coaching. I only accept people who are very serious about content creation, but you can check it out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below if you would like to apply. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next is going to be print on demand services. So you've probably used print on demand before, you might not have even known it, but this is basically where you order like a t-shirt or something like that online that has a design that you like on it. And what you didn't know is they actually never even printed the t-shirt in the first place. They only print it once you order it. My whole life was a lie. And if you think about it, that's a very efficient way of doing things. Because if you print the t-shirt out first, you're probably gonna have to print like a thousand of them and you don't know how many of them people are gonna buy. And so you're taking a huge risk. Okay, fine, I'll buy one of your Avondra's t-shirts. And then on top of that, you have to store all of those t-shirts and storage can be very expensive. And that is where print on demand comes in. It's very efficient because they only print the t-shirt once someone has ordered it. And it's not just t-shirts, you can print just about any type of clothing. There's also mugs, stickers, canvases, and just about anything that you can think of that involves printing something. And this is something that I just started really checking out recently. And I think there's a ton of opportunity right now, but there's gonna be an even more massive amount of opportunity when they start doing what's known as 3D printing. So I think in the very near future, they are going to have print on demand for 3D products. And I think everyone knows what 3D printers are. Just an example of this would be, let's say you design a Halloween costume and you actually design it yourself using a 3D interface. Then you're gonna have the ability to buy it and a 3D printer is going to print it and ship it directly to you. Think about how cool that is and think about how many other things that you could use this for. So I think there's a ton of opportunity right now and there's gonna be even more opportunity in the future. And there's a really cool story about an ex Walmart cashier that made $6 million in revenue in three years selling things online. Now there's so many different websites you can do this with. You can use Etsy, you can use Amazon, even Walmart is getting into it now. And yeah, this one is pretty good. 
good. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be audiobook creation. So if you're someone who has a charming voice, let's say you're listening to this and you have like a proper British accent. Hello, governor. Audiobook creation might be a really good one for you to get into. And this is basically where you read a book out loud and then people who like to consume that type of content by listening to it on websites like Audible will end up purchasing that audiobook. And then you would get a cut of that purchase. And there's an example of a 34 year old mom who quit her job as a music teacher and now makes six figures doing exactly this. So she was only making about $30,000 a year as a music teacher and she had tens of thousands of dollars in student loan debt. And then she became an audiobook narrator and she started making six figures a year. And she's almost completely paid off all of her and her husband's student loan debt. And this isn't just a side hustle, you can actually do it as a job as well. And audiobook narrators make between 46 and $80,000 a year. So yeah, this is another really good one, relatively easy to get into. It's especially good if you have a charming voice. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below your favorite side hustle and maybe I will make a video on it or at least include it in a future video. Next is going to be car sharing. And this is basically where you rent out your vehicle to other people when you're not using it. So some people do this, for instance, when they go to work, if they're gonna be at work for a long period of time, they'll just rent their car out to another person. And you can do this on a website like Turo. And Turo is basically like the Airbnb of car sharing. And there's an example of a mom that makes $6,500 a month simply renting out her car when she's not using it. So yeah, this one is pretty straightforward. Not much to say about it. How much you can make probably depends a lot on the area that you live in. Does a steaming pile of crap scream payday to you, huh? But yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a home organizing or decluttering service. And this is basically where you transform a chaotic space into an organized haven. And an interesting fact is nearly 25% of Americans admit that their garage is so cluttered that they can't even fit their car inside of it. And there's a story I saw of a 25 year old that makes $65 an hour and $4,000 a month helping people declutter their homes. But you can actually make a lot more than that. For instance, professionals make about 78 to $144,000 a year. There's even books that are written about this and people that have made millions of dollars teaching other people how to do this. For instance, Marie Kondo, she's a world renowned decluttering expert and she's made millions and millions of dollars writing books and teaching people how to organize and declutter their homes. And a lot of people out there actually like cleaning and organizing. It's kind of therapeutic for them. Did you clean up in here? So if you're one of those people who really likes to do this, you could make money with it. I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you think of anybody else out there who could use this, maybe a friend, a family member, or someone who's just trying to make extra money with side hustles, go ahead and share this video with them. Next one on the list is a very interesting one, and that is selling a custom clothing line. Now, I know what you're thinking, starting a custom clothing line sounds like a ton of work and not everyone can do it. Let's put a dead animal on you. Croc skin, buttercream, buttercream. And that's true. If you tried to start like an international brand, that would be a ton of work. But what a lot of people do is they actually start a local custom clothing brand and then they sell it on localized social media platforms like TikTok or Facebook. And basically what they do is they'll try on the clothing and they do it on camera and it's usually a live and they'll have people actually bid on the clothes live in the comment section on either TikTok and or Facebook. And then when someone buys it, they just have to PayPal you or just send you the money and then you would ship it to them. And this is especially good if you're selling local type clothing. So clothing that has something to do with the local place that you live. So this is actually a new way of making money that I'm seeing a lot of people doing. And there's people that are absolutely crushing it doing this. So overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next is going to be pet training. And this is gonna be especially good for you if you're someone who likes spending time with animals. <laughs> So this could be anything from training dogs how to do tricks to teaching cats how to poop in the sandbox. And if you don't think you could make money from this, here's a story about a female dog trainer who became a millionaire. She's known as the Dog Talk Diva and she owns the Dairy Dell Doggy Dude Ranch and Training Center. And you can do this as more than just a side hustle or business, you can actually get employed doing this. And pet trainers make about 36 to $57,000 a year. So yeah, this one's pretty good. People absolutely love their pets and they'll do anything for them and they're willing to spend a bunch of money on that. So I'll give this one an eight out 
out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of pets, the next one on the list is going to be pet photography. And believe it or not, this is another extremely profitable side hustle. Like I said, people that love their pets really love their pets. And here's a story of a photographer that switched from doing other types of photography like wedding or portrait photography into pet photography, and they started making thousands and thousands of dollars a month. And fun fact, the earliest known animal photograph was actually taken in 1842 by a French photographer, and he took a photo of a cow, right? You have to pick a specific niche. And pet photography is definitely a very specific niche. And even if you get employed at a job, you'll still make around 37 to $60,000 a year. So I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did do a video on 10 side hustles that you can do to earn money this year. And you can check that out by clicking right here.